Hey guys, good morning. So this week I wanted to vlog a little because I am towards the end of a seven day apple cider vinegar cleanse. Um, it's the cleanse by JJ Smith. Um, you can find the book on Amazon Prime. Um, so I am at like the tail end. I'm on day five and I wanted to talk a little bit about the ups and downs of doing this cleanse, but I'm feeling pretty good today. And so I felt like today would be a good day that I could actually be on camera and discuss <laughs> the cleanse, um, especially since I'm near the end. And I have some things to do, so I figured I could vlog and share that with you guys at the same time. So I'll meet you guys in the car um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the cleanse. I brought my first meal of the day because I had to come charge my car. So I brought my first meal of the day with me um, for day three through six, which is oats with a little pinch of butter, a pinch of salt. I add cinnamon to it because otherwise it literally has zero taste and cinnamon isn't that bad for you. So um, my tiny little cheat but so I want to start by explaining why I actually decided to do a cleanse um I've never really done a full detox or cleanse before so I feel like that's healthy for everyone to do just because our gut controls so much of our health and so I think it's really important to from time to time, let me take these glasses off so I can feel like I can, you know, look at you while I'm talking. But I feel like from time to time, you need to kind of like do a nice clean out internally. So that was one reason I wanted to do it. Another one was that I have like this stubborn lower belly fat and I have been able to lose it before, but I really wanted to see if this would help me um, accelerate that process, especially because during this like stay at home order, I've been working out from home, but only recently have I felt like my workouts from home have been working. I feel like the first half of the stay at home, I was working out and I was still gaining weight. Um, so I'm not too happy with that. I really miss the gym. Um, so I felt like this was a perfect time to do a cleanse, see if I could lose some, some pounds. Um, so the cleanse actually says you could lose up to 15 pounds. It's seven days. The first six days you're eating, but very small amounts of food, very, very tiny amounts of food, like, um, spinach salads and nuts and fruit. And that's pretty much it, um, and oats or scrambled eggs. Um, so, <clears throat> and then you drink like an apple cider vinegar detox drink that you make, you drink it throughout the day. So, um, I felt like I'm just going to give you a rundown of the days because I was going to do pros and cons, but I feel like it gets mixed up in my head a lot. So I'm just going to go through the days. Day one for me was, um, okay it wasn't that bad it was the first day so I wasn't really like struggling too much um now day two was my hardest day and I'll preface this by saying that I actually had started the cleanse on a Monday by myself and on day two in the evening I caved and I broke my cleanse and so I restarted again the Thursday after this time with my boyfriend doing it with me and so this is the part that I think is super crucial is that you have to have a support system when you do this cleanse especially if it's the first time you're ever doing any kind of uh, detox or cleanse. This is my first time doing something this long 
for seven days so I think it was crucial having my boyfriend do it with me because we were able to support each other when we were like about to like walk off the ledge and give up um, and that has really helped us push through so we've like reasoned with each other every time one feels like caving the other one you know does the effort and is the strength in pushing through and then when the other one is caving the roles reverse but really it's how we've gotten to day five I'm on day five now and so day one was okay day two the worst day two my withdrawal from food was so bad like my whole body was itchy I was craving food so bad it was like I just felt like I was not going to be able to live without ordering food like I needed food I was craving everything and it was really difficult day two was really bad um and then day three I was okay day three I woke up I felt no withdrawal I felt no cravings um I obviously have missed like really tasty food like I miss the taste of like nicely seasoned food because everything is so bland that I'm eating um but I didn't have like cravings and then day four was okay too but day four I felt a little bit foggy like my brain was a little foggy I didn't feel you know I didn't feel too good my I was a little bit tired like I just even like prepping the meals felt like exhausting to me so I was like day four it was okay though I didn't have any really intense cravings and then what happened was we had to go to Whole Foods on day four because we started to run out of certain ingredients and I will say that I was super nervous I felt like I was walking into like the mouth of a lion like I was like shoot like I'm how am I gonna survive Whole Foods so we went to Whole Foods in the evening right before eating dinner and we made it and we went through and neither one of us was even like suffering while we were in Whole Foods like we were fine we didn't feel any like significant cravings or anything um and then Today I woke up physically very tired, but mentally I feel super clear. I feel like I have a lot of mental energy to expel, but I do feel a little bit physically lethargic. And now I may be getting my period in the next day, so I feel like that also has a lot to do with how I'm feeling right now. It's just a lot of things going on in this body. Um, but an update on the weight so far, so I'm gonna finish this vlog on day 7 or day 8 once the whole detox is done, but as of right now, when I weighed myself before the detox, I was weighing 154, and I weighed myself yesterday in the middle of the day after I had eaten some stuff, and I weighed 151, so so far I'm down 3 pounds, um, that was 3 pounds in 4 days, uh, but I think at this point I've probably lost a little bit more. So the point of the detox is your body actually goes into ketosis and your body starts just burning fat. Um, and I have to say it's given me like a new appreciation for food. Even these oats that in the beginning I was like this is disgusting. It tastes like cardboard. I feel like my taste buds have like adjusted because... I have been biting into this yesterday and today and I'm like wow this like this tastes good like it it I don't know like the flavors are starting to come out more like the natural flavors it's so strange um, because day one I was like this is gross it's cardboard and now I'm like hmm, this isn't that bad um, but I feel like it's given me a new appreciation for food and how to consume food mindfully which I think is something that I've been able to master in the past but I feel like the past few months I haven't been I've just been eating I mean, I'm vegan, so I do eat a lot of plant-based stuff, but I can also slip into being a junk food vegan very easily, so I feel like I've been, like, teeter-tottering, and I feel like after this, I don't want to 
put trash in my body you know like I really want to be more mindful about the meals I'm preparing and how many nutrients I'm getting in each meal um so I definitely think I'm going to keep that up and I am also probably going to continue intermittent fasting um because I do think I have the habit of like you know in the evening I get a craving and usually it's for something sweet and so I reach for something sweet um if I have it so yeah I mean I think overall I feel good today I feel really good it's day five on day six is the last day of this like eating these small meals and day seven we can transition into soft foods and so there's a fat burning soup recipe in the book for day seven so we bought all the stuff for that at whole foods yesterday and so tomorrow i'll prepare that for day seven and i'm really excited about that soup and i'm excited to you know just have some more tastier foods but I do feel really good. I feel like a lot of my bloating has gone down and I'm down a couple pounds. So, so far I'm happy with it. Um, and I think it's definitely worth it, but I will say you do need some sort of support system to keep you going because you are going to go through like a 24 hour withdrawal phase and that is really really difficult when I first started the the cleanse by myself and I was on day two I caved because I just there was no one doing it with me and I I didn't I couldn't keep myself from my own cravings but because I did it with my boyfriend the second time around on day two he really kept me on track and that was super helpful um, so I definitely suggest you do this with someone, have some accountability partner in doing it. But I suggest this kind of cleanse better than other detoxes because a lot of cleanses or detoxes are like juicing all day long. And I will say that would probably be extremely difficult. Um, so this at least you are eating small, tiny portion things throughout the day, um, so you don't feel completely deprived. I don't know if I could do like a seven day juice cleanse. I feel like it would be too much. The other thing is you have to drink a lot of water on this. And the one con that I will say of all of this is the amount that you have to pee. I mean, I have never peed so much in my life. And there were like two nights where I was waking up. I felt like every 30 minutes I was waking up to pee and it was really annoying. But that passed last night I actually slept through the night um but you do consume a lot of water and you do pee a lot the other con would be that you can't work out while you're doing this detox which for me is really hard because working out is really like integral to my like mental health and so not being able to work out has been a little bit difficult um but I know that I can't work out because when I started on the first two days, the detox, then I went to, and I broke it on that Tuesday. On that Wednesday, I worked out and it did not go well. I almost passed out. And that was having broken the fast, uh, the detox on Tuesday evening. So I can only imagine if I, you know, worked out right now, how I would feel. So definitely don't recommend working out while you do it but that's been a little bit difficult um but I've gone on some walks which has been nice just light walks and overall I feel good I would do this again I was talking to my boyfriend and I was like we should do this detox like every six months just to you know clean out I think it's really helpful I think there are some habits you pick up along the way and I think it really teaches you so much discipline with food which is something that I have trouble with sometimes like especially during this stay at home period like when I'm home and I'm bored I tend to just eat just to like fill time or alleviate boredom I don't know it's not healthy because that's called emotional eating um so this makes you mindful of all those habits and it makes you want to do better so that's my update so far three pounds down 
let's see how it goes but I just wanted to check in with you guys at this point and then I'll check in again you know on day seven when we finally get to eat the soup I'm gonna be so excited guys you have no idea I'm gonna be so excited um but I'm gonna finish the rest of my oatmeal and I will pick back up when I've made it to day seven wish me luck It's the morning of day six and I wanted to come on here because I did end up getting my period yesterday which let me just suggest this for the women who want to do a detox or a cleanse make sure you do it on a week that you're not going to get your period because I will say that I feel today like solo energy like I just barely making it through but I am on day six so tomorrow's my transition day back into food so I'm okay knowing that today is going to be the last day of you know the cleanse and tomorrow I can transition into the soup um, it's a fat burning soup and the book has a recipe. I'm going to make the soup later on this evening to prep it for tomorrow. So I'll make sure to record that so you guys can see sort of what goes into that soup. Um, and I will check back in tomorrow as well. So I started prepping the soup because it's going to take about six to eight hours on low heat to cook. And so I want to have it done. And... I also like just when soups sit for a little while, the flavor is marinate and it just tastes so much better. So I started prepping that. So here are the sweet potatoes I chopped up and here are the other ingredients that I'm gonna be using. Um, I didn't have diced tomatoes so I tried to make my own diced tomatoes with some fresh tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I am so excited because all of these things together, plus allspice, plus bay leaves, and salt and pepper, oh, it's just gonna taste so good. Guys, tell me that doesn't look like heaven when you haven't eaten, like, seasoned food for six days. And now I'm just adding the vegetable broth. Oh, another two cups of that. And we put it to boil. Alright guys, the soup has been boiling for a few hours. Still has quite some time to go. Oh, but it smells so good, guys. So good. Guys, I made it to day seven. It's day seven. It's day seven. I'm transitioning to soft foods today so I made the soup last night it's done it's in the fridge I'll grab some footage of it done later for you and I'm so excited I feel great I haven't weighed myself yet because my scale doesn't work so I have to go to my boyfriend's house later to weigh myself um but I do feel lighter I feel less bloated I feel like clean inside and I honestly it's like the first day that I can like eat some other foods and I'm just like not really hungry like I don't re yesterday was actually a struggle for me to eat everything that was like on you know the diet for yesterday and today I just I'm not that hungry so I think the soup is really gonna fill me later on at lunch, but I am gonna try to have a green smoothie for breakfast after my coffee and continue drinking my detox drink. But I feel great. Today I feel so great. I have energy, I have mental clarity. I, you know, yesterday I was feeling really tired, I think, because it was day two of my period, which is always the hardest day for my period. Um, so being the last day of like the diet and then like, the worst day of my period at the same time was really hard but today I feel good I feel great I'm excited to weigh myself I'm so curious to see I know so far I've lost five pounds but I'm curious if I lost any more um, but I definitely feel like I'm carrying less bloat which I think is one of the most important things um, I just feel like it has cleaned me inside so 
excited. I'll show you guys the soup later. I'm going to go enjoy this cup of coffee because I was finally able to put a little extra creamer in this bad boy today. So I'm going to enjoy this, relax, and then go weigh myself in a little while and take some soup to my boyfriend so he can have his fat burning soup today too. And then we have a really exciting meal planned for dinner. It's still going to be light. Um, but we decided to get our favorite ramen place. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So I weighed myself today and I weigh 149 pounds. I forgot to record the scale. So I was 154 when I started the seven day cleanse and I'm down to 149. So I'm really happy. I don't really focus a lot on like pounds. I really want to be able to like tone up and stuff but mostly i did the cleanse just to like detox and cleanse internally as well as reduce a little bit of bloating and i feel like i carry most of like the weight in my belly so i do feel like it's helped me a lot i'm gonna actually go to the mirror so you guys can get like a full body shot let me take off my sweater and okay so I'll insert don't mind please don't mind my laundry I had to separate it because I'm doing laundry today but this is how I look today and I am going to insert a picture probably somewhere back here of what I look like before I'm really trying to work on my posture, guys. What I looked like before, um, but this is what I'm looking like now, and I just feel so much lighter in my belly, which is where I carry most of my weight. I feel great, so yeah, I am really, really excited about the changes I feel in my body and I feel good energy wise. I feel also like more positive, which I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Is you guys microwave like so annoying when it is done? Okay, let me just mix this up because I'm sure that not all of this soup is hot. Okay. So, um, yeah, I feel like I have a much more like positive mood lately. I feel a lot of mental clarity. I don't know. I just feel really good. And I will say that I'm very satisfied with the cleanse and I plan on doing this every six months at the very least because I think it's a really good way to reset your body, reset your eating habits as well because I found that I'm not even like hungry today. Like I'm actually forcing myself to have this soup because I know that I should be eating the soup and I shouldn't just like not eat all day. So I am forcing myself to have the soup and the soup is also gonna help release like more toxins and burn fat. So I'm curious to weigh myself tomorrow morning to see if after today, which is day seven, I lose any more weight but um yeah I just feel great I'm excited to do this often I think it's a really good cleanse to do especially if you've never done a cleanse or a detox before because you are still eating small meals throughout um and once you get over like the 24 hour withdrawal period where you're really missing the crappy food you're used to eating it's easy from that point on it's easy it hasn't been really too difficult and yeah I feel good I feel great highly recommend um but recommend you do it with a support system because I have to say me and my boyfriend really held each other down to get through this because there were during that withdrawal period there were moments and it's actually interesting his journey was a little different than mine he had different days that were difficult for him but because of that we were able to hold each other accountable and support each other um, and talk each other <laughs> off the ledge when we wanted to give up so 
yeah, I mean, it's been really great. Highly recommend JJ Smith's seven day apple cider vinegar cleanse. I'll drop the link to the book on Amazon below. Oh my God, this microwave. Um, I'll drop the link to the Amazon book below. And um, yeah, I wanna show you guys the soup too. So let me just like grab the soup. All right, so here is the soup and it looks so good. Sweet potatoes, I let it sit overnight and I let the sweet potatoes get really mushy so they broke apart, it's really great. Um, and it smells, ooh, there's some steam. It smells so good. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. If you have any questions about the detox, if you want me to talk more in depth about it in another video, let me know, I'm happy to do that. Probably the next time that I do the detox, I'll actually vlog the entire experience because this time I just didn't know what to expect and I didn't want to put that pressure on myself. But um, the next time I'll vlog the whole experience, but I shared pretty much like the highlights of the highs and lows with you guys in this video and just highly recommend. It's so good to reset your gut and also your eating habits because I feel like now I'm eating so much more mindfully and I'm going to continue doing that um, and I feel really, really great. So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll look out for them and I'll answer your questions. But if you're feeling like you need a reset, this is a great way to do a healthy reset and a healthy cleanse and detox. So if you try it, let me know how it goes. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.